Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy is Promo, and today we will be talking about the new and improved or just the updated Samsung clock. Now, this has an update that was pushed out on December 23rd. Now, I didn't see this one pop up all the way up until either yesterday or today. It was showing up on different phones at different days, different times. And so here it is. You'd be able to find it either by going through your settings of the clock itself or what you'd be able to do is just go right inside of the Samsung Galaxy Store. So either way, you'd be able to find it. For me, I find it to be a little bit quicker and easier to do it through the Samsung clock if I already have the application open. Other than that, you wanna go inside of the Galaxy Store, head over to your menu, and then click on updates. Now through here, this is where you can see clock. You'd be able to hit that little update button on the right hand side. Now this one was pushed out December 23rd, as I mentioned from before, but I didn't see it come through either until yesterday or today, depending on which devices we're talking about. Now through here, there's a bunch of things of what is new. Now I'm not going to go through every single thing inside of here. I'm really just going to mostly go through some of the stuff that I kind of noticed, something that I would actually use, something that you guys may use as well. So if you wanted to go through, you can actually read everything that's new here. But other than that, let's go through, let's update it. And let me show you a couple things that you're able to do. Now, one thing that I do want to mention is that as you go through and you read this, a few of them will mention that you want to have Android 12 or higher. So when it comes down over into, if you press the turn on again button, when you turn off the repeat alarm, it skips the alarm only once and it turns on automatically again, provides clock feature to Bixby routines. So this one right here uh, for that Bixby routines, you want to make sure that you have Android 12 or higher. So as you read through, read some of this stuff, some of them will actually Actually mention about Android 12 or later. So let's head right back inside of the clock now that everything has been updated. And when you go underneath the alarm, the first one I want to talk about is the customizable snooze intervals. So if you had Android 12 before this update, you might have seen this. If you don't have Android 12, you should hopefully have it by now. But when you click on new alarm, you have different options. And here is that snooze option. Now, originally, I believe there was only three up here. I think it was five, 10 and 15. I believe this 30 was also added, but this is where you go to custom interval. And then if you wanted to, instead of it being, you know, maybe every five minutes, maybe you just want to snooze for an extra two or three minutes in between each little snooze coming through. You could put it at seven minutes. You could put it at eight minutes. And I believe you can go all the way up into 60 minutes. I don't really know why you'd want to have, you know, maybe a snooze every hour, unless if you're trying to wake up and you do a really good job at hitting snooze, then you don't have to set an alarm every you know hour. Uh, maybe you're somebody who wants to have a snooze come through every 20 minutes. So maybe you, you're someone who sets an alarm, maybe like eight alarms a day. Instead of setting eight alarms a day, you can actually just set one alarm with, uh, you know, 20 minute intervals in between and it can ring maybe five times or you can make it go forever until you're up. Really kind of depends on what you want to do. But again, uh, a lot of good options you can do here with customizations. Now for me, I'm one of these people who, if I do set an alarm and then a second alarm, I usually kind of put it eight minutes later. I don't really know why. So I might be one of these people here for a custom interval of eight minutes. Uh, and then you go through and you can hit on save. Now, along with that, if you don't have Android 12, I know one of the things you had with Android 12 could have been the gradual you know, increase of the volume, but this little update will give this to you. So if you go underneath the alarm sound, then you click on ringtone. If you click it through ring ringtone, you can choose gradually increase volume, and maybe you don't need the volume that high. Now for me, I don't need it to be very high, so I can actually put it just you know maybe halfway or a third. You can put it all the way up if you wanted to, uh, but again, here is that gradually increase volume. And if you're looking for a couple different ringtones, Walk Home is one that's kind of cool, very soft. I don't really like to have anything, you know, crazy dramatic because it kind of depends, you know, with that alarm, if it's crazily waking you up, you might wake up on the wrong side of the bed. So I like to have something a little bit more calm with that gradual, you know, increase, you know, eight minutes, five times, you know, you're going to start your day off right. Now this next one is one that I probably won't use and some people might not you know, be too into it, but it's inside of the Bixby routines. But if you are somebody who loves Bixby routines, then you'll be able to go through and you can head inside of your advanced features. Now once inside of advanced features, you're gonna scroll down until you see Bixby routines. You'll click on Bixby routines and then you want to add a routine. Now through here, let's say maybe it's a uh, specific time 
you know, maybe let's say 9.30 p.m., you know, sounds pretty good. Uh, you wanna hit on done, then you wanna go inside of apps. So basically at 9.30, then you hit on apps. This is gonna show you options for clock. Now, originally before this update, this was not sitting here. You had these options up here, which was open an app and do an action or close an app. And now after this update, you'd be able to have it to where at 9.30, you can either start a timer, you can start a stopwatch, you can turn off all of the alarms, turn on the alarms. So maybe at 9.30 p.m., you can turn on your alarms and you can choose which one you would like to turn on. So if you know for a fact that you wake up every single day at 7 a.m., you can see currently it is actually off. Uh, so now I'm gonna hit on done. And so at 9.30, what's gonna happen? Uh, basically 9.30 every Monday, it's gonna turn on my alarms. Now through here though, you might wanna go through and maybe change it every single day because in this way you'd be able to make sure that you have your alarm on every day, except for maybe Saturday, Sunday. So Monday through Friday, 9.30 p.m. every weekday, it's gonna make sure that my alarm is turned on and I just hit on next. I can you know, put in a specific name for the routine. I'm just gonna leave it the way that it is. And then from here, I'm just gonna hit on done. And so now inside of your Bixby routines, you have a couple different things that is happening. Now here's another thing. Let's just do this one really fast. Maybe let's say that you wanna add a specific time uh, and let's just say maybe at 9.30 a.m. Monday through Friday which this is gonna kind of offset exactly what we just got done doing. But if you wanted to, you can go inside of apps and then you can turn off all of the alarms and you can choose which ones you would like to turn off. Now, maybe you're somebody who, who sets a timer every morning to maybe do like 30 minutes sit-ups and push-ups or some type of routine or whatever you're doing, uh, you'd be able to do that as well. Uh, or, or maybe there is something that you need a reminder to take a pill at a certain point in the day. Uh, you can set a timer if you wanted to, and then maybe when this timer goes off, you know, maybe just in a few minutes, uh, or maybe you wake up and you wanna do something, you wanna have a timer go off four minutes later, you're done with your workout, whatever the case may be, you can now do all of that through Bixby routines. And then now we're gonna head over into widgets. So I'm gonna go on the side of the second page. Uh, we're gonna go inside of widgets. I'm gonna scroll down to where it says clock. Uh, actually, what I'm gonna do is on the very top, you can search for widgets. So I'm just gonna search for clock. And then through here, you're gonna see four of them. And the, the, the difference is, is gonna be these two here. So if you chose this, this little analog you know, uh, clock right here, the nice thing is that now that there is a seconds hand, if you remember from before, it was only the hours and minutes hand, but now you have the second hand, which for some people, that's definitely gonna help out if you are checking something, maybe check, you know, take a look at your heart rate. And then let's take a look at the second widget that had an update where you go inside of widgets, again, go back inside of clock. And so for this one, you have the option for day and night type of a look uh, with the dual clock. So what you wanna do is you wanna add in a city. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put New York over here. I'm gonna add this one as my second city, but for the first city, I already live you know, here in the Midwest, so I know what that time is gonna be. So I'm just gonna choose San Francisco, Los Angeles, whatever it may be. Uh, and so now what it's gonna do is it's gonna show me my first city, it's gonna show me the second city, and then you can do the day and night colors. Now, uh, because it is already nighttime in San Francisco, you're gonna see that it is dark. Uh, but what I do wanna do is, let's say that we move around the uh, world. Let's go right up over here. Let's see what time this is. So now you can see the difference for day and night. So originally it would look like this, and then now with the day and the night colors, you can see that with your dual, you know, your dual clock widget here, that in Seoul, South Korea, uh, it's gonna be daytime, 12.35 p.m. And in New York, it is 10.35 p.m. And you can just simply look at it in a quick, you know, split second and know for a fact that this is night and that is day without having to look at the p.m.s, things like that, uh, and a.m. So again, daytime, nighttime, it's pretty cool. Again, with the widget, you have the second hand. So I do wanna go through and we can take a look at a few different things. This is the screenshot that I have of it. Uh, if you wanted to go through and still read everything, I took a look at a lot of this stuff. Some of it didn't really apply to me. Some of the stuff you don't really technically see. Uh, some things are just kind of there in, in, in the background. But again, I showed you everything that was really mostly important. Hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.